Inspiration, motivation, and happiness. Most of us have this vision of how we'd like our life to be. And, and we kind of know what we need to do to make our life that way. But we get stuck. We get stuck. Because let's face it, to get up off the couch and move, to not reach for that sweet treat, takes a lot of willpower. And it is willpower at first. So what can change that? What could make that easier? I personally think it's inspiration and motivation leading to happiness. That's why I always say move well, stay healthy, be happy. Isn't the bottom line all about happiness? Don't we want a lifestyle that brings us constant joy? Well, that's available. That lifestyle is not the same to everybody. Everybody's joy is going to come from different places based on your personality, based upon your, your, your upbringing, based upon what really makes you happy. For instance, I'm sitting at a beautiful, beautiful spot in southwestern Washington. I'm looking at a lighthouse and waves crashing onto a cliff, and I've got all this old driftwood right in front of me. That brings me great joy and happiness, brings a smile to my face just to sit here. The sun is behind the clouds, and the clouds are glowing. That makes me happy. So what would inspire me very early in the morning to drag myself out of bed and to drive down here? I'm so lucky. God, I'm so lucky to live where I live. But for me, for my personality, here's a little aside. This place isn't for everybody. I've seen many people move to the Pacific Northwest on the ocean. And after a couple of years, they leave because there's a reason it's so green. It rains a lot. But this spot makes me happy. I sit here and I breathe and I am just in pure joy. So what inspires me to do this? I'll tell you, I found people who were living their lives of joy, their lives of happiness. I watched them and they inspired me. I thought, well, wow, these people seem genuinely happy. My business partner was a genuinely happy man. Had a lot of struggles in his life, but yet he could always be happy. I do believe that's because he was inspired to find his joy. You can find that too. What you do is you take that inspiration and that gives you the motivation. Once you've got the motivation to get out of bed and say, hey, I can lay here in bed and probably get a little bit bed sore from spending the extra hour in bed, or I can get up and I can go down and I can sit by the cliffs and look at the lighthouse and watch, watch God's canvas as, as the sun lights up these beautiful clouds, watch the waves hit the cliff. It's like fireworks. It's so much fun. I can just sit here and enjoy and be. That's the inspiration and the motivation. So start looking around. Find people who are living the life, not the life you would like to live, but living their joyful life. When you find those people, let them inspire you and motivate you to find your own joyful life, to bring happiness in your life. It can be done. It just takes some movement. But I, by movement now, I'm not talking about exercise. I'm talking about getting up off the couch, getting up out of bed, not overeating, getting yourself lean and healthy. I think everybody should be lean and healthy. That's where you feel really good because to live the life of joy, you have to be able to live that life. You can't be bedridden. You can't be stuck in disease. Today's message is all about finding the inspiration, observing people, observing people who are truly living joyful lives, surrounding yourself with those people, allowing them to motivate you to find your life of joy and happiness, your perfect life, one you can just breathe deeply and go, thank God, as I often do. I, I want that for you. I desperately want that for you. So until we meet again, that sounds like Roy Rogers, till we meet again. <laughs> Move well, stay healthy, be happy, live your life with passion, and we'll talk to you soon.